Uh, all right, I'll actually start with the uh, trade we did execute because it's perfect. So at the time when we um, outright at Sandy Leon off the roster, we had an agreement with him that if there was an immediate major league opportunity for him, we wouldn't stand in his way. Uh, it's an agreement that we've had with other players in similar uh, situations. So earlier today, uh, the twins called and expressed an interest in an immediate major league opportunity for Sandy. So we worked with them to uh, accommodate that. And in return, we were able to get a pitcher that will provide us some depth. So just wanted to provide a little bit of context. That wasn't something we woke up this morning planning to do, um, but that's what we ended up doing. So uh, with that, I'll answer uh, the questions. Chris, how do you, are you disappointed you weren't able to make, you know, uh, add to the roster? I think in having a few minutes to reflect, the thing I continue to be, or the overwhelming feeling continues to be excitement about the group of players that we have here. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time, not only with our front office group, but with Tito and the coaches talking about the opportunities that might be available to us to, to bring other players into the organization. And oftentimes we came back to really believing in the individuals that we have in the clubhouse and the contributions that they've made as importantly, the way this group has come together and the team dynamic that we have, the way they play the game, the way they care for each other. And we wanted to be really mindful to disrupt that. So we did explore a number of things over the course of the last few days and few weeks, but in the end, there wasn't that right trade that made sense um, to change the group up. It looks like the Twins made a couple moves to improve themselves. How does that affect the sales sector? race with you yeah again both with the white Sox and twins you know, we know that they're really good teams and they've made some moves that um, have the potential to help them but we also are excited about the group of guys that we have and not only the group that's at the major league level but players that we think continue to help us for the next two months that are you know here but also at triple a as well Is that it? So is there a feeling like you know these people, your, your, your team has played so hard to get to this point through the you know the first three or four months of the season? Do you think in the clubhouse they feel like okay we've we've taken it this far we need a little help? Would, would that have negative? Yeah, we spent a lot of time talking about that with you know Tito and over the last few days and thinking about that dynamic and in fact there was the opposite belief that this group believes so much in themselves and really appreciates the way they collectively play the game, the way they lean on each other and the dynamic within the group that there was a belief of not wanting to disrupt that unless it was just the right fit. And in the end, we weren't able to find that perfect fit. Um, he's still a little ways away from pitching. So he's still out in Arizona rehabbing. It's going to be a little bit of while, a little while before he's ready. By not making moves to unload some prospects, that obviously there, there are prospects that are building up the, the minor league level that, that are eventually going to have to come up here. Otherwise, Chris Wilson will be going to move by or after something like that. Set yourself up next year for, for sort of the same situation at the trade deadline if these guys haven't been up there. You're just losing the bid. Is there a sense of that at all? Um. I could see scenarios maybe where that plays out, but that hasn't been the case so far. In fact, I think what we've seen is that a lot of those guys that we've talked about are now up here contributing and helping us win games. And hopefully those players that were added to the roster that didn't have a lot of experience are now a year further along in their development and will be ready to contribute. So as we look at the composition, not just of our major league roster, but what we anticipate the 40 man roster will be, I think the vast majority of that group will be in a position to contribute in some way to our major league team in the near term. It doesn't mean that there won't be some tough decisions we have to make, but I, I do think that there are ways as, as we've seen this year, that there are ways to navigate that and build a, a productive, deep, versatile major league team. Hey, Chris, you guys were really patient with Ram Ramirez. What do you think happened? You know, we spent a lot of time on that, Jeff. And, you know, we worked with Fran Mill, you know, a few weeks ago after he had some to battle with the hamstring to try to work on a plan to get him back on track. And to Fran Mill's credit, he put in a lot of work for that to happen. And it just hasn't clicked for him yet. So 
we're still committed to trying to help him. And just at this point, he's going to have to work through that in AAA and hopefully he can get on track, be back to the productive hitter. We know he's capable of being, and then find an opportunity or find his way back here to, to impact us in the last couple of months. But for right now, other guys will get those opportunities. They got a lot. They they traded away a really good player, and they got a lot of really good players in return. So, as you know, we spent a lot of time on the San Diego system, and you know they they Washington got a talented group of players back. But at the same time, I appreciate where AJ is coming from and uh, the opportunity he feels they have to to win the World Series, and felt that you know Soto gives them the chance to do that over the next couple of years. So I can understand the rationale for both sides. Anything else? All right, thanks.